If I would name the most anime thing, then I would probably reach over into my box of obscure but personal connections and pull out hashtag FF00EE, a CD of Weezer's Black Album, the word aesthetic, the word mid, two jugs of milk, the chair that I'm currently sitting on with a blanket on it, my brother's deodorant for when I was 16, $100.39 NZD, and finally this picture of Anjo-san from Yanshigao no Anjo-san. She's the main character, Nagato at that, which I don't expect you to know what is. <laughs> Yeah, JK, but I'm gonna explain it anyway, because I'm a YouTuber and that's what we do. Gyaru is a trope often found in, but not exclusive to, rom-com anime. Most distinguishable by their frilly leg things and proper uniform, high use of makeup, and in some cases even a nice tan. But surprisingly, what is likely most synonymous with a Gyaru is the bland, boring motherfucker standing right next to her. I'm not gonna act like I have no idea why this is, you know, I'm an adult, you're an adult, you know. We know these things, we're, we're smart. And I'm also not gonna act above. I like this shit. I think the contrast and fantasy intertwined is a fun thing to watch develop. It's also fun to think about. It it be me, not him. Him. Obviously, there are times when the author just wants to show everyone that they're so nice to all these sluts, but none of them want to go out with them because they're all too stupid to realize his worth. But you know, treat them like you would any other strain of disease and walk away, wash your hands, and stay out of the area for 10 to 12 days or until you hear gunshots and police sirens. Oh, oh, he's getting edgy with it. He's getting edgy with it this time. No, I just have to read something called NTR Revenge, which is a manga where a comically bullied kid unlocks the power of, I don't fucking know, the revenge fairy and proceeds to lock three girls in a dungeon. I have never seen such blatant hatred towards everyone ever, but that's not why I'm here. You know, I want to talk about the good stuff. Yeah, good stuff. Let's go. Janjigal no Anjo-san is a solid baseline to start off. It contains pretty much all the classic tropes you'll be seeing if you continue reading from the genre. And at a fairly high quality as well. Look, I've been reading a lot of cookie cutter isekai recently and I can't tell you just how nice it is to see a style that's so clearly someone's own. Not only that, but the manga really knows how to frame shots to be interesting and elevate whatever emotion is being portrayed, but also with this nice sharp art style that's just... Yeah alongside everything else at high quality. They're definitely using everything they have to the fullest, and that's kind of rare to see, honestly. There always seems to be some kind of concession made, whether it's art, story, characters, pacing, you know, all the funny buzzwords your favorite reviewer throws out. Including me. Speaking of, what story there is is basically what you'd expect from a Gyaru romance. A bit of sexual teasing. Ah. Oh, that felt kind of gross coming out of my mouth. Ah, oh, okay. But yeah, there is a lot of it. Maybe too much. But overall, it's fine, you know? The characters especially are something I enjoy. I've realized over the years that I have an affinity towards two types of characters. One of which is the insane character that doesn't seem to take anything seriously, but still has a large amount of skill to pull from. And the other is... for later. But Anjo-san is the first one in spades, and it's such a joy to watch. Inyama is an insane fucker has a strangely large proficiency in anything artistic. I especially like Cheetah, she's so cute while having this air of self-sufficiency to her. I like the fact that she thinks that by eating heaps it'll make her tall. Seto, who's a nerd, he's a nerd, with a sweet soft side that he uses to crumble Anjo-san when it really matters. And of course the title character herself. Anjo-san. Well, I'm guessing is what happens when that fantasy of you and your cat becoming human, 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 human. Becoming human actually happens. I know you've had it. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Let's talk about these two, because they're probably who you're going to be seeing the most of if you actually decide to go ahead and read this manga. And it's your standard, really? Me? Romance? Where most of the ideas and conflicts come from the evidence of their obvious contrast. It's not overplayed, and there are a lot of genuinely sweet moments that go beyond a trope into actual heartwarming. Aww. So don't feel like it's going to be all the same gimmicky bullshit all the way through. Which is nice, because there is a lot of it. With quite a large 165 chapters, I'm really surprised that this is yet to get an anime. Especially when Ufu Ijo Kobito Miman and Asanko Gyaru is mega cutie. Can you tell I had to record these ages later? <laughs> Both got an adaptation despite being from the same strain as Anjo-san, but I'll take that as a sign of hope, but I, you know, hope it gets one soon. I think it would do really well and I genuinely think it deserves it. It's like a baseline, it's what you'd expect. So, yeah. Hold up, go one back one, no, no. Oh, uh, 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 go back one second. Was that Dosanko Gato is Mega Cutie? Ah, it was. Dosanko Gato is Mega Cutie. 
is really good. Honestly, CP, actually, no, I ain't agree with yet. Copy and paste what I said about Andre San over and make it a little less horny and also make it fucking cold. I'm confused how they did it, but I never thought that just the fact that it was cold all the time could be such an interesting plot point to live on while indulging in this dummy Hong Kong Yaru. But I am too invested in how this dumb boy city boy will deal with the next heatless situation, both in temps and romance. You know? Well, if you don't know, somehow, this manga takes place in Hokkaido, which is like the countryside in Japan, except cold, like really fucking cold. It's actually a much larger plot point than it has any right to be. Okay, look for real, it is cold. Freezing, even. Okay, I gotta get off this fucking, this fucking cold shit, man. <laughs> There's more to this manga slash anime than how cold it is. But that is pretty cool. Okay, I'm done now. For real. For real, I'm done. I'm done now. Cold! If I'm being honest, I'm just stalling a little bit because Dosanko Gato is making cutie is very similar to Andrasan, but it's way more story and character develop focused, so watching the relationship between Tsubasa and Minami develop feels way more personal, fulfilling of a journey. Also, there are three love interests, but for me, that's where the love interest ends. As although the manga really wants you to believe that all of them have a chance, Miyami is on the cover and the title, and obviously the right choice. That if you think the other girls are the, are the, have a chance, you're just you're just too delusional to be here. May I redirect like, you to my podcast? My dick lessons. I do like all the girls though, and I do wish that you know they all took from Anjo-san and let all the girls have their two Bs in the same Annie list page. Essentially, you know, I'm just I'm just sad, man. You know, I'm just sad. This dude. <laughs> this dude's leading on two anime girls, man. And all seven billion of this. I just. Left with none. <laughs> you know, like. They're nice people. Just let them be happy in the 2D form, at least. You know, I don't care if they get with the MC. I just want them to be happy. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> I'm still talking here. I'm just sad, man. My life's falling apart. It's a mess. Oh, hey, Lee. Ah! I dislike harems, unless it's so fluid it doesn't really matter, or playing on the absurdity of anyone actually thinking it's cool to have this many girlfriends. So I'm conflicted right now, because the next one in line, Midoku Sanche Wa Aga Bububububa, isn't strictly a harem, but it is three girls doting hard over a single guy with no signs of any of them giving up and all being equally good choices to cop. I fear it'll end in a triple marriage if you get my drift, so keep that in mind while I yap. But aside from that, this is good. Man, this is good. Is it a Gadu? You know, I'll admit right now, you know, I'm pushing it a little here. <laughs> but I think when you combine all three of the girls together, you get something that's pretty close to a Gadu. So I'm gonna let myself slide, you know, a little bit one time in the name of better recommendations for you. All right, all right. So now that we've mutually agreed that this manga does indeed fit into our definitions of Gyaru manga, I'm gonna slide in a little bit of an extra taste of treat here and say that our protagonist isn't a basic bitch and even commits the Dom Romcon sin and has hair that isn't black. I know, I know, I know, I know, right now. The more I speak, the more you consider checking the title, then checking your ammo reserve, then checking if someone's doxed me yet or if you should be the first. But stay with me here for at least a little bit more because it is genuinely so nice to have a protagonist who isn't a little bitch ass motherfucker and instead a Chad who understand that it takes hard work and dedication to achieve your goals. And you can't rely on given talent to truly reach the top of the mountain. You need to grind. And I respect that as a fellow grinder myself, you know. Also, he is part of the dumbass, thick-headed MC club when it comes to love. But he's so cute. Look at him. Look at him. Daddy. Oh, look at look at him. Look at him. I just wanna. Mm, I just wanna. Mm. What? The grill friends? Oh, okay. I'll talk about them. The girlfriends are nice, and each of them get their own times to shine. But at a complete contrast to what I said about the Hokkaido mama, the issue here comes from the idea that each are equally good candidates for the final page spread. None of them seem to be in the mood to give up either, so due to this, rather than each feeling like a distinct character, they feel like the same base with a different coat of paint applied. It would be nice if they thought for themselves a bit more and weren't so adamantly lusting over the MC, but fortunately, little bro is too head empty to realise, so it doesn't just turn into a lucky bastard situation, which, you know, wouldn't be good. Wouldn't be good. 
There's nothing more boring than a guy who's like, Whoa, all these girls want to have sex with me. Oh, and now I can have sex all day. Like, bro, you ain't got a demo to Kusuki. <laughs> you, you don't have that amount of Unchained certified horny on you, so, you know. But for real, aside from the main and the strangely hornless story, this manga has a very Lucky Bastard-esque layout. Pro literally receives the keys to the house of women and gets to go ahead and live there and look after them while attending school. Like, like honestly, like honestly, when's my fucking turn, dude? Like, I swear to God, all these people out here are like, ah, give me keys to the house, oh, I have to live with the girl I like, ah, oh, they invite me to their house. Like, bro, when's my turn? You know, I'm, I'm grinding, I'm out here, I'm doing so much work. I'm doing all this work all this work and i'm just like and then these these motherfuckers these little bland ass motherfuckers who had their eyes covered sometimes they don't even see their face they're out here like oh my god the girl i like likes me back i'm gonna shoot you i'm gonna skin you alive i'm gonna peel off your fucking toenails bro <laughs> hijinks and shoe i guess it's the story where nothing really matters and there is a slow but sure progression to what you already know is gonna happen you know it's fun to see these super talented girls fawn over this dude even if it is sometimes a little bit too much and you know, overall, the aesthetic of this show, sorry, manga, screams to be anime. So, I don't know. Keep your eyes out, in my opinion. Now, a couple of you in the audience right now might remember when I made three videos about Yuri sex. Yes, I'm going to you. I'm going to you. And I'm sure you're pretty disappointed right now with the distinct lack of sex so far. And, you know, I understand. I would also be leaving deranged and unethical comments if I was also annoyed at the current sexless conduct. But fear not! For I saved one of the absolute horniest mangas I've ever fucking read. For right this very second. Behold! Dadi Demo de Kuri Kimi Gasuki. Bro has mayonnaise come. Finally, a so called anime slut who actually has sex with everyone and gets caught by Mr. Basic MC. But you have been deceived, for he is no basic man, as he has a spear to slay Zeus, a shrong so long and strong it rules the two person battle in the bedroom. Jonathan! I have reached a new ascension. You can't! You know the rules! It's too late, Jonathan! Much like everything else in this world, I have already fucked the rules! I... am... God! What the fuck just happened to me? What the f... f Dari Demo... Dusuki... Dusuki? Is a rom is a remaster of a really old, fairly unknown manga named Garu JK Ura Manga, which I'm not joking, but I really couldn't think of anything else here, I guess. I don't think. And it's weird that I'm talking about this one, because relatively speaking, it's lacking in story, art, and characters. But I think what this one has over anything else is any sort of fake polish or false pretenses thrown out the window for a story someone wants to tell. You know, actually bringing it back to the Yuri videos, a lot of the ones I mentioned have faded out of my mind, because, you know, there's a lot of them, but a couple have stuck around, despite it being so long. And one of those being called Sexy and Pink. It was pretty shit with bad art, but a fun kind of backward story and premise. But what makes me remember it was the fact that it was made and published despite that. That someone had an idea and wanted to draw it, and even if they weren't super good, and that they actually went through with it and made it in it. And fucking suck extreme is the same thing. I mean, it's a remake after all. It's obvious that the manga has at least, you know, a little bit of connection to the story. I don't know, just felt weird not to include it because it's so personal and different that like, you know, I like artists having fun. I like them creating stuff that they like, genuinely enjoying what they're doing. And this person's doing that, you know, I like artists having fun. Manga artist having fun. Manga. Garu. Garu manga artist. Garu having fun. Garu manga. Manga artist. Man fun. Artists having fun. Artist having fun. Garu manga. Now that we draw is a combination of everything that we've spoken up to here today. We see the simple Garu structure as presented in Andrasan with the black haired main character and Garu strongly infatuated with the relatable little guy. A more character in the story as is with the Soka Garu and Mikado Shubi 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 These characters want to be the best. They put their all into the work and support each other. They fall out and come right back. Ups and downs all the way through. And finally, like Dari Demo de Kirigasuki, you can feel the author through the pages. It's likely more because this is obviously based directly off the manga's experience, but the way the characters talk about making and creating this art form 
shines of the influence of someone who's who's been there before and done that and and both loved and hated every second of it. The more we learn about these characters, the more we learn about how manga carved them and molded them into the people they are now. We see where they want to be and how they are going to get there. And I just love these guys, man. I mean, I mean, look at her long ass legs, bro. How can you not love that? You know? I don't know. I, I don't even mean the same thing. I already have a million times, you know, you know what I mean, I like Yaru, and you know, a lot of people, a lot of normal people, you know, quote, 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 would find it weird, and obviously pandering, but I'm from the internet, I'm a weeb, and although they're not wrong, you know, I would never do any other way, and I hope for all of us, all of us out there, everyone watching this video, I hope that everyone will be able to one day find a dummy rom-com Gyaru to tell us that it's okay and we're doing great because we are thanks for watching